Hello my fellow family foodie friends, it's Jakey and I have soup for you today. Soup is my all time absolute favorite type of food. I make soup all year round and that's the only thing I look forward to about the cold weather is soup weather. So I am sharing with you today a dump and go soup. I put this in my crock pot, it's set for nine hours. It's so easy and ready to go with very minimal work at the end just to get it perfect. So it is a tomato soup. I have shared with you an instant pot tomato soup before, but this one can be done in a slow cooker. It doesn't have any sauteing at the beginning, so it's slightly different, but still so delicious. So if you're looking for easy and you're looking for comforting and healthy, this is the soup for you. I am participating in a soup playlist. This is a collaboration hosted by Shauna of Mrs. Dickinson's 1910 and Kat of Southern Farm and Kitchen. I'm going to link not only the playlist below so you can see all of the soupy goodness. I cannot wait for all these ideas, but I'm also going to link below directly to Shauna and Kat's channels. They are amazing women. They share all the goodness and I know that if you enjoy anything food related, you're going to love their channels. So make sure you check out the playlist and both their channels. Thank you ladies for hosting. If you are coming from the playlist. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I would love to have you stick around. I am a stay at home mom and I cook meals five or six nights a week at the very least. I do grocery hauls. I share with you my favorite recipes that I find or I make up and I'd love to have you stick around and see what I'm all about. So before we get hangry, let's get into the soup. Okay, so this is a dump and go tomato soup recipe. These are the players that are going to come at the end. Fresh basil, Parmesan cheese, heavy cream. But we are going to put these seven cans of tomatoes in, my homemade vegetable broth, you could just use a carton of vegetable broth if you wanted instead, a chopped onion, red pepper flakes, and carrots. I never use baby carrots. I will say over and over again that I think large carrots are so much superior to the baby carrots. They taste better. They're truly carrots. And I've read so many things about baby carrots that it's just not worth the extra cost and they taste better. So I use these carrots, don't use babies. And we're gonna dump all of these ingredients into the instant pot. I'm using it as a slow cooker, so you could do it right into a crock pot or slow cooker, and we'll get going. So I chopped an entire onion. I'm gonna peel and slice these pretty chunky in the slow cooker, they'll get nice and soft, and I use the immersion blender at the end anyways. So I'm using five carrots. Or as I like to call them, five Barbie legs. Hey Ken, how's it going? I have linked my favorite Instant Pot accessory below. It's the Instant Pot lid. It is so nice for when you're serving food or when you're using the slow cooker instead of the big bulky lid like I'm doing here. So I have it set for eight hours. I did end up having it on slow cooker high for nine hours in the end. And then you finish it off. You say? Say it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna say it because I didn't say it. Oh, right. Did you say this is the best soup in the world? We are going to use my immersion blender from Cuisinart. I've had this thing forever. It's called the Smart Stick. I love it. It works so great. fresh basil leaves and then we're going to add in a quarter cup of parmesan 
just because we can. Careful, stir. Okay, Elsie, take the first spoon and face the camera and tell them what you think. I haven't even tried it yet. Face the camera, careful of your shirt. Don't forget to check out the playlist below. It has all the Sufi goodness, and if you're a soup lover like me, you can also check out my Olive Garden Sufi Toscana right here. Ciao down and ciao.